Hi, so I was finally able to install Windows 11 on my old Dell hardware. So this particular computer is from 2013, so it's a good eight to nine years old. And it's a Intel third generation. So what you're gonna find is when you start trying to install Windows 11, you're gonna get an error message saying that it's not supported. So what I'm gonna do is go through some of the BIOS settings required to actually preset the BIOS settings before you can install Windows 11. So normally what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot from a USB thumb drive and the boot media for Windows 11 is going to come up and I'm going to click install now. You'll notice it says this PC can't run Windows 11 and that is simply not true. So let me zoom in here and show you the exact message. So that's the message you're going to get. So I'm going to show you how to set the BIOS settings just to bypass and get through this step. So during the boot process, I'm going to push on F12 until the boot menu comes up. So I'm just constantly pushing on F12 and I'm going to choose BIOS setup here. I'm going to go into the BIOS and I'm going to show you uh, these typical settings. So these typical settings are true of a lot of latitude laptops and also the Optiplex. My hardware here is from 2013 and so it's a, a good nine years old. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that UEFI is enabled. So I have UEFI enabled here. You know, sometimes it might be under legacy. Uh, the next thing is also when you go down to security, you see the TPM security. So that's the trusted platform module. So I am gonna check this TPM security and I have to click apply here. So I'm going to click apply. Once you click apply, you're going to have these choices. Just um, you know, check all of them except for the clear. I've checked all of them and I am going to click activate right here and I'm going to click apply again. So I've applied those changes and then thirdly, I'm going to go to secure boot and enable secure boot. So those are actually the three primary aspects of the BIOS you have to change. The UEFI, the TPM security and also the secure boot. So, so once you do that, you will be able to install Windows 11 without that error message. So Windows 11 is supported and the Intel version I have is an iCore 5 that is basically third generation. So uh, there you go. I hope this helped and uh, you know, good luck with your install and thank you so much for watching.